Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I gotta tell you, this is the last week I'll be talking about the GFX 50R. This camera has really impressed me. I really like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's a beast, it's, it's heavy. I should say, the body isn't so heavy. It's more the lens that's really heavy. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to go out and shoot with it as a landscape camera, and that's what we're gonna get to right after the break. Well, today started out a little strange. The place I wanted to go to, the, the gate was locked to the beach. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? It's over in West Beach in Beverly Farms. I stopped by the police station and they said, well, you could park in front of the out gate. <laughs> I said, well, yeah, I could do that. Or I could walk from the train station, which is about a mile. So I'm not complaining. Well, maybe I'm a little bit. Well. It's like the gate's still locked. <laughs> when I come out, it's probably gonna be unlocked. Here we go, another photo tour's quality adventure. Well, safely under the gate. Now, it's a little bit of a hike to today's subject, which is a mostly gone pier, which I'm hoping to get photographs of with a slow shutter speed. We'll just have to see. Uh, the tide is up most of the way by now, but couldn't pick it at any other time. Well, we'll see what we get. It's, it's something that I've been wanting to photograph for a long time, and it's really kind of neat. I mean, we don't have any piers around here that are gone, so this is a, a good chance to try and use the GFX 50R for the last time and uh, I think it's gonna work out, but we'll see. On to the mostly submerged uh, pier, or parts of a pier. I'm sure that this pier down here was probably uh, attached, or not attached, the, it was probably part of a, an estate which only makes sense. And forgive me if I bounce around a little bit. But we got enough wave action for slow shutter speed to make it really interesting. It's probably only gonna be a black and white. So we'll just have to see. So I hate to use the word interesting, but it is that. It's also gonna be something that I have to take different angles of to try and get something that's usable but I'm really looking for a black and white image here I'm also gonna try out the panoramic feature or I should say the crop marks for a long skinny panorama let's see what we got just uh, I've been waiting to shoot this for a long time because it's really the only place around here that's <laughs> got a beat up pier that's gone. Uh, I only have a 32 to 64 for this GFX 50R. So, hey, hang in there. We're going to show you all the good stuff and all the bad stuff for that matter. So here it is, and you can see there's various issues that I'm gonna have, but uh, most especially, it's the island in the background. And as we move a little bit more over this way, we can eliminate that, but I don't have a, um, gonna make sure I get up high enough so that the um, piers don't intersect past the horizon so that they're down below it so we'll just have to see what we get we got over here we got an island got an island over here all right let's get set up so let's get this tripod going here
mighty chilly 40 something degrees out so my hands are cold already i'm going to show you each shot and i'm going to do a number of shots because the i just it's so cool i mean there's giant bolts there's weathered wood there's waves coming in and my exposure is uh f16 at uh, for five seconds and i've got the breakthrough photography uh six stop cpl dark cpl on the camera and it's working quite well for this particular purpose um just need a lot of wave action for it to really get interesting if you know what i mean I've got a good wave coming in right now oh some more more waves i'm really excited because this is exactly what i was looking for i've been able to eliminate this island over here on the right uh, maybe a little bit of uh, spot retouching, get rid of just the tip of it. But I'll show you what this looks like. It's, it's really cool. So here's the image right here. Got my interest going this way. I may crop down a little bit here. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try one with the panoramic uh, cropping. Here we are with the panoramic cropping. It's really, really kind of neat. And the cool thing is, is that the waves are coming in at kind of an angle. So we're getting this cross, um, it, I'll show it to you right now. It's cool. I'm gonna try and find another angle if I can. Um, I got one post here, which is really interesting. I'm trying to take a vertical of it down low. The tide is supposed to come in a little bit more, so it should be kind of neat. So this next shot is, is great as well. This is the perspective shot. And being able to <laughs> slow these waves down is great. We're shooting in about at you know 64 because it's, uh, it's the longest I can get. And I'm trying to get these lines to converge a little bit. I've got the, um, the poles down below the horizon of the um, island. So, I'll just have to see what I get, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to look nice. And my exposure is six and a half seconds at F16, and it's great. <laughs> Uh-oh, another way I'm going to miss it. No, got it. So I've got several opportunities here for really, really different images. Oh, here comes a wave. I'm trying to get some action in it if I can. Uh, the tide is just about ready to turn. I was hoping it would get up to this post here. I'm not sure if it's going or not. Uh, let me give you a, a little idea of what's going on with this picture here. Okay, so here's this. We've got showing some uh, converging lines here, and it leads out to that island. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to try for some different shots here. So we've got two shots, and I'm going to show you this one right now. So the tide has come up some, so we've got this last pillar here in the shot with some waves. 
waves are coming up around it. So let's talk a little bit about this shot. And what I've done is I, I've taken the six stop CPL off and dropped it in the sand. So it's now in the bag being protected after I blew all, as much sand as I could off of it. What a dummy. So anyway, I'm using a, uh, a CPL and I've got it down most of the way. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, not get my feet wet, <laughs> but looking for this convergence here. And I don't care, I, I, all I want is the focus to be from the front to the end of the pier. I don't care about the background being out. That really doesn't matter to me. So it's looking kind of cool, but the problem is, is that um, I'm shooting a sixth of a second. I wanted to get down to a quarter. I've taken some of a quarter at ISO 50, but really I'm not liking what I'm seeing. So, you know, here's a couple of frames. Get it coming around the pier there. I was looking for something maybe a little bit different. Uh, the problem with, you know, with these, sh I'm trying to time waves, but the problem is, is that, um, you know, if I get them at one pier, it's not gonna happen on another one. So <laughs> you can imagine, I get some nice uh, effect of it coming around the pier, or I should say around the, uh, the poster sticking out of the water. And it looks kind of neat, but the rest of it's kind of uninteresting. So you know, work on it. And uh, I think you'll like what I got right now. Well, I had a great time over here at West Beach in uh, Beverly Farms. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, Memorial Day, it's closed to the public, but uh, before then, you know, I think Labor Day. So Memorial Day to Labor Day, it's closed to the public, and uh, so is the parking lot. But after that, uh, it's like nine months of, of you can come down and walk this beach and take a picture of this pier right here. It's kind of cool. I got some great shots, I think. It's... Uh, it's not my usual fare, but you know, in black and white, I think it's gonna look absolutely spectacular. So I've had a great time working with this GFX 50R in the 32 to 64. Unfortunately, it's now discontinued. I really like the rangefinder style. It fits my style better. Um, although all of my cameras, except for my, uh, my Leicas are um, DSLR type. Really had a great time with this. Thank you, Fuji, for letting me borrow it. It's been an absolute blast. I've really loved shooting with it. And the files I get, I'm gonna make some giant prints. So expect to see those. So if you wouldn't mind, if you like this video, please give me a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And check out kpnphototours.com. That would be great. And until next time, we'll catch you later. So I gotta go hike a mile back to the uh, train depot where I parked.